Hello there. Welcome to Stacking It Up number six. Today we are playing Deep Anti Games, Hold'em, and PLO. And I've finally got my HUD working, so that is fun. <clears throat> and let's start it off. <clears throat> Top two tables, PLO, as you can see. Bottom two, no limit hold them. Um, we're playing five cents, ten cents because it's pretty much the only deep games that we can buy in for um, without risking too much. You know, twenty-five dollars is fine. If we played a level higher, it would be uh, sixty-two fifty, I believe. And we open on the Omaha table. And we get 3-bet and 4-bet. We're actually just going to fold there. And we're going to fold the 9s on the bottom. And we're going to 3... We've got the second nut straight on the Omaha table. Ace-Jack beats us. Uh, we're just going to check call, depending on how the action goes. But we expect to be beat. I mean, if it checks around to this guy and he bets, we have to call, obviously, because he can just be buying the pot. Hopefully there's not too much clutter with all these HUDs here. Um, I just configured it. So we'll have to see. I don't think I've done the colour the color matching yet, but we'll see how it goes. And I just realised I need to be sitting here really. I'm going to see bet. We have like an open ender with two jack blockers. And we're going to open the jack five suited versus the limper. We're looking to put pressure on on the hold'em tables as we're deep stacked obviously. We're going to have a lot of advantage post flop. The Omaha games, I think, are as fishy as ever, so they should be fine. And we're going to flat, actually that's quite a mistake, against this guy who's not as deep as us. But we're going to check raise this flop, and we have no hands on him. Which is unfortunate. But now he doesn't. Uh, we bet two here, it's going to leave him with seven. We bet two, and then we're going to shove the river. And we turn the nuts on the top right table. Betting here, obviously. And he's snapping us off. And a very nice river card. We can get it all in. So it's a nice pot we take down on the MR table. This guy seems very active. Uh, got a pair and a royal flush draw. Going to lead out. I'm going to peel the six do suited, getting good odds. Never folding to a three bet. And deep Omaha game. But we are going to fold the flop. And we probably three bet the queens here, double suited queens, pretty decent. Uh, not an ideal flop for us. I don't think we're going to be betting here. Obviously, we can rep pocket aces, but uh, going to peel one off. We've got a gut shot. We can turn two flush draws. We do turn a flush draw, depending on how much he bets, half a pot size bet, I'd sort of definitely call. And we make the second nuts on the river. I think he it looks like he has ace jack here, so I don't want to bet too much. And we bet and get snapped off by what I presume is ace jack, and he does have ace jack. So we bet the right amount on the river, and we turn the nuts with two blockers for the higher straight. We want to point it here in case he's just got like 
the straight to the nine and he's a fish. And we've got redraws with the clubs, so there's no point flatting here. And that is a terrible river card for us. If he bets here, we have to fold. I mean, it looks like he has the straight, but it's just unfortunate that the spade comes. I don't think many players are going to be flatting there with a straight to the nine and then putting as a bluff on the spade. So, just unfortunate. The three bet the suited jack nine. So a lot more action on the Omar tables than the Hold'em tables. That's why we prefer that game. And a decent flop for us. Yep, the Hold'em tables are playing very nitty. We do get aces they're not premium aces but they are certainly worth a raise at least this guy opens nine percent no v pips are an percent v pip i'm not going to three bit here because it just looks like we have aces so i'm just going to flat call and hope for a good flop flop a gut shot Gonna peel one. We turn treeps in the bottom table. Don't think we needed it though. Yeah, we certainly have to fold our aces there. And this guy leads out. Yeah, having a pair in our hand hurts us a bit. Quite a lot, actually. And we've got a gut shot against this guy who folded that last hand to us. We're going to peel. Doesn't have to have a queen. We've got a backdoor flush draw two, which doesn't come. And I'm just going to fold. Suit your ace, I'll definitely peel the Omaha table. Yeah, I quite like deep play. Deep anti play is pretty good. Suits my style. Got the king blocker here. Okay, uh, it's hard. No one can have a nut flush. But against these guys, it doesn't look like they would fold any flush if they have it. So I don't think there is much point in bluffing here. If anything, it's better to go for a check raise. I mean, I doubt he's going to fold here. Might just try it once. He did pot it. He can have like, yeah, he's never folding. Such a silly play by me. Fishes don't fold. Flushes. We just wait till we have the king eye flush and play it like that, it'll be better. Oh, we do get into fold. Obviously against better players it's better to do that because they can fold a larger portion of hands. Just going to fold the king turn against the sky, looks like a nip. Oh, we've missed having a hard. As you can see, we're playing quite aggressive on every table. But as they're deep anti games, it's correct to play aggressively. I'm going to 3 bet the 8 on the button. This fish calls out of position. Which makes it more irritating for us to play the hand. On that flop, I'm not really going to do much. 
Especially when he just dunk pots out. Got a gut shot with not much else on the top right. And I'm going to just give up on that board. We didn't turn a heart or a three or an eight or a four or a seven. Any of those cards were what we were trying to turn. And we're going to peel against this guy who looks like a fish. We've got top pair and a nut flush blocker. Pretty bad turn to call because there's two flush draws out there now. But we're going to peel one off and that's a bad river card. Easy to have a straight now. He did have an over pair with a flush draw. Probably going to be the kind of person who's just only going to have three bet aces or kings. And we're going to three bet the fish on this table. I'm surprised that these deep hold'em tables are playing so nitty to be honest. But just as we say that we get four bet and it's the first guy's four bet so we're just going to give up and we're going to lead on the top right table with top and bottom pair. Don't really want to check call. It looks quite tight also. I expect him just to be either folding here or raising when he's beating us so I think the hand just plays a lot better that way. I'm going to flat the queens on the button. I'd like to be in position. I mean, it lets these guys into the pot. But we don't mind having the button. We can call three bets in position or anything. It's fine. Just giving up on the king queen. We turn a wrap. Uh, but the spade comes in, so some of our outs are tainted. I don't think I'm going to bluff here. We might peel one here, but uh, don't really fancy betting if it checks to us and me. River the nuts, however, we do have both queen blockers, so it's hard for someone to have queen 10. Hopefully, someone's going to have 6 7 or 10 7, so we do can still get called and he had a jack nine right so these Omaha games are good I think that's the whole reason why I switched over to playing them when I was an online boy got bottom two on the Omaha table not calling a bet here I mean every draw missed but I don't expect these weak players to be betting missed draws on the river even though it would be good just gonna fold suited ace This hand's pretty junky as well, but so much, uh, so much more put odds with the um, dead money in the middle from the antes, and nobody makes a bet on the flop, so we're going to bet with bottom pair and a flush draw. I'm going to try and steal the pot. It's pretty suicidal, but it's a small pot, and he obviously wakes up with the eight. 
No, it's fine. Most certainly going to three bet this hand if we get given the choice. If not, we'll just put open. Since these Omaha tables are playing pretty, uh, sorry, not Omaha, Hold'em tables are playing pretty near, I'm just going to raise smaller. I'm just going to give up on the uh, Ace King 10 Jack. Although now it checks to us. I'm probably still going to check back. I'm only really worried about Deuce 4 here. It's going to bit. Hopefully, get caught off by uh, some things. Two pair. Maybe even Ace Queen. Okay then, set of fives apparently, lol. Double suited queens, but not, not C bit in the king seven three, it's just a uh, bad board for us. Most the, board, most the boards are going to be bad for this hand, so I shouldn't really be opening it. Could be winning here. If he bets, it's pretty tricky, but yeah, has a nine, that's fine. Just gonna raise a very weak donk with jack five suited. And we flop tweeps. Obviously having the queens in our hand hurts us a bit here, because it's harder, harder for us to boat up. Uh, now that the flush gets there, it's not ideal. Can't really beat anything at this point. Shouldn't really have called the turn. It's better to raise or fold because we're never going to boat up. So, pretty uneventful. This guy limps the button. <clears throat> wow, we fold the min race with Jack Four. Turn treeps. Let's see what this guy had here. I had a flush draw, the other guy had a king. This guy min raises. Kind of interesting, gonna flat call. Don't see many people raising here with the nace. Really? Hmm. I don't believe you, son. I'm gonna see how much you really have it. Really? What the hell? Maybe he has like ace four suited or something. I don't see many people raising there of just an ace. Just gonna keep betting our full house. Obviously a bit worried that he can have a full house here, but more likely he has a flush and he's gonna pay us off, so 
definitely an easy bet fold, although he looks quite nitty, so if he raises we can snap fold, so no worries, but he does call. So it's good as Jack High Flush. Don't know why it's not topping me up. This is boring me now. Thought there'd be more action than this. I love the Jack Five. Jack Five's decent, especially when you flop the two pair and go for an over bet. Premium Limp What a junker that is Gonna open Hopefully get into a hand with this guy here Oh, come on, dude. This is very slow. Want to get in the action. Well, that hand took a lot longer than it should have. <laughs> Let's do it again. Ah, oh, this is the slowest table I've ever been on. Can't fucking hack it. Can't get out of here. Yes. Well done, mate. I don't care if I lose to you. Oh, how many hands do we have on him? I don't know. Two. I don't play either of them. This is flat. It's just play like a pussy. If you want to take years, I want to take years. I'm taking the complete opposite of years, but never mind. He could have turned a queen, but with our flush draw we can't fold and now that he checks we're definitely betting. Punish him for taking so long. Three better double suited queens. They're not amazing queens, we could have just flattered. This guy is quite tight who opened under the gun, so it wouldn't surprise me if he four bets. If he does we'll be in a gross situation, but we'll probably just fold. We had like Queen, Queen, Jack, 9 or Queen, Queen, Jack, any picture card or a 10. We would definitely flat the 4 bet. Just going to give up King High. And he does 4 bet. And we will fold. I should have thought about that before I uh, 3 bet him. And we would have to go with it on this flop. But it just sucks when he's got ace high clubs, I mean ace high spades. 
And he doesn't have a. Wow, what is this guy doing? <laughs> Fishy! They're folding queen, double suited queens. He's calling them single suited tens. Haha! <laughs> Probably tilted now. We call with an absolute junker of a hand, hoping to get it in. Yeah, we do end up rivering straight. And he pays us off, anyways. He did have kings. Boo hoo for him. Snap giving up the sevens. Gonna punish this limper here. Pretty marginal defend, uh, not defend, sorry. Marginal call on the button, but we just want to play positional poker. Not these guys are playing at, but whatever they're doing, I'm gonna charge them. Three bit and the ace queen six nine, and they both fold on the holding table. It's pretty weak. Gonna three bet this as well, but the button doesn't open, so we just open it from a small blind. Wow, oh, man, these games are pretty nitty, you know. Flop and open and Flop and open and And we're going to peel top pair, nothing else. Turn top two. There's three straights out there. We're going to bet here for protection. And if we get raised, we're snap folding. Well, we take it down. And we're just going to give up with nothing on the Omaha table. Against the min raise, I can't fold fours. You get three bet on the button here. Just gonna turn my fours into a bluff. I've got a uh, flush draw, obviously. Pretty horrific board. Could go for a check raise. Bluff. That's not really a good card to bluff on. Good chance we're winning. I'm actually going to raise now. He put, probably could be trying to protect an overpair. So I'm turning my queens into a bluff. Now that the ace comes, that's a quite uh, bad card. I'm going to be like 580 and then fold to a raise. As you can have aces. And he does have aces. Quite a thin value there, but it was a good raise on the turn by us, as as we thought he had aces or kings, but he didn't want to fold them. Just an unfortunate river card for us. I think we win on pretty much any other river card other than an ace. <laughs> Never mind. Well, I'm going to wrap the video up. It's been quite uneventful, but not much else I can do. Just gonna put this guy in. Nothing has King Nine very often, or he's King. Just 
play our last round, wrap it up. It's definitely going to be my last video for today. This is my fourth or fifth one that I've made today. My brain is quite mushy. To be honest, the next hand I'm going to be dealt out anyway, so might as well end the video now. Thanks for watching.